Torah Anytime, Pashas Ki Savai, tells the following story. When the Mir Yeshiva was temporarily located in Shanghai during the war years, it was nothing less than a tense and tumultuous time for its students. Bombs flew overhead, bringing with them the fear of being injured or worse. Besides this, temperatures peaked, leaving everyone in sweltering conditions. That Yom Kippur, many of the students reportedly prayed wearing just a shirt without a jacket, given the extreme temperatures. But with all this difficulty occurring for the Mir Yeshiva and its students, one particular incident rattled them all. One of the students committed a sin with a non-Jewish woman and contracted a disease. He desperately needed a prescription of antibiotic medication, but it was too expensive and the boy couldn't afford it. Since there was no other option, a few yeshiva students went to Harav Yecheskel Levenstein, Zeche Tzadik Livracha, who lived from 1885 to 1974, the Mashkiach Ruchni of Mir Yeshiva, and somehow managed to stammer to him that a bocha needs this medicine. Without asking any questions, Rav Chatzkel understood exactly what had happened. He took out money from his drawer and gave it to them to help the boy. Later that week on Shabbos, the student expected to hear Rav Chatzkel provide strong words of rebuke in the wake of such a horrific incident, especially during wartime. They figured that for sure he would talk about the sin that the boy did and say, how can a Bacha do such a terrible sin, especially when we are in the middle of a war, there are bombs flying around us and we don't know if we're going to be alive tomorrow, etc. But surprisingly, nothing of the sort happened. Rav Chatzkel spoke about the Pasha and said nothing, not one word about the incident. The next week too, nothing was said. And in fact, nothing was said for an entire year. The following year, Rav Chatzkel was approached by some boys. Rebbe, we don't understand. Abacha did a horrible thing during wartime and you didn't mention a word about it. Rav Chatzkel calmly responded, giving Musa is to prevent someone from sinning. But after the sin, we don't pour on guilt. That would push them away. Instead, we reverse course and encourage them to do Teshuvah and move forward.